Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the lighting, it's horrible, I know. But today I am at Trader Joe's. It's my first time coming to Trader Joe's. I have seen a lot of hype surrounded around Trader Joe's and supposedly they have like amazing stuff that you can't find anywhere else. So I'm really excited to try some things out. Um, I did ask you guys on Instagram what I should try and a lot of you guys suggested um, the orange chicken, the fried rice, the gyozas, um, I have a whole list of things. I'm gonna try to film in there, but I know they have like a strict no filming rule or something like that. I've seen people get kicked out and stuff and I don't wanna do all that. I'm with my kids. So I'm gonna try to like sneak in some clips here and there, but then I'll show you guys what I do end up getting. Um, I've just never been to Trader Joe's. The closest Trader Joe's is 35 minutes away, so I drove really, really far to get here, but I'm really excited to go in there and see what they have. Also, I know that it's like a more organic place to get groceries, so I know the prices are gonna be a lot higher and it can be more expensive, but I'm excited to try something different. Maybe I'll come here more often, once a month or something, to grab a few essentials, but, Let's go ahead and head on inside because there's so many people here. It's insane. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. A lot the things you said you said to me to me it seems like me too we can take it slow make sure we do this right canceled all my plans to be with you tonight tonight so just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building can mystery next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be you make me anxious i think i might be stuck on you i love the things you did you did for me for me it seems like Dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything, cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery.
kind of strange I can take a beat From my better stuff It's like no one else Even really scratches the surface Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets me I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction I'm looking for someone to show Hey guys, so I just got in my car. Um, Trader Joe's was so packed, but honestly, I think this store is gonna be like a new favorite of mine. I will show you guys what I got. I didn't get a whole lot. I spent, I think, $45, $50 around there. I got a lot of things you guys recommended. I get, I actually was pretty oh, impressed with the prices. I didn't think they were horribly bad or too expensive. I feel like, um, some things can be affordable and I think a lot of people could shop at Trader Joe's because we have like, I guess there's just like a stigma around like Trader Joe's, Harris Teeter, Earth Fair that it's like really expensive um, supermarkets and I mean they are, organic food is expensive. But I was pretty impressed with Trader Joe's. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. But I wanted to mention that because I'm, I'm afraid that I'll forget and won't give you guys like my honest thoughts when I'm showing you guys everything. Um, they had like different things that I wouldn't find somewhere else. Their prices were good like I said and the only thing is I had to record on my phone because this big camera was not gonna work for me. They had so many employees working and I just felt like each time I wanted to pull out my camera, there was like one right next to me. So I decided to pull out my phone and record that way. So I'm sorry that it's not like with this nice camera, but that's just the way I could record. Plus I had the kids with me. I will say it was a very tight space. It's not a huge supermarket and um, there was a lot of people, which is crazy. I mean, it makes sense because it's after five. So people are coming out of work and going to get groceries and stuff but it was so packed it was really hard to walk through the aisles but with that being said um a lot of you guys recommended some things that i did see that i did not get either because it just didn't really look appealing for me like it's not something i would eat like the salsas uh, a lot of you guys recommended the hummus and the salsas I'm not a hummus or a salsa person, so I feel like that's just gonna go to waste in my fridge. So I didn't get that, but I did see that they had a ton of different flavors and just different kinds. They have a, a ton of variety, which I think it's really cool. Um, but I'm excited for the things I did get, which I will show you. But I'm already out of breath. I'm gonna head home because it is rush hour and it's gonna take me a while to get home. So I'll see you guys when I get home. 
Okay guys, so I just got home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So the first thing I saw was this Trader Joe's peaches and cream and it's also mango and cream yogurt and it looked really, really good. Uh, I think they also had like a banana and cream or something like that, but this one looked the yummiest to me. So I grabbed this for the kids. I only grabbed one to try it out. A lot of these things I only grab one of because I want to make sure we like it before I start buying these and buying a whole lot of them. Then I got these organic Joe's O's and they're just like, yeah, they're organic tomato and cheese sauce pasta. These would be really good for lunchtime, for Ethan's lunches, things like that. So I grabbed two for them to try. They'll normally split one of these. I haven't tried the, the Trader Joe's ones, but we have tried like the, I don't remember the name, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. We have tried <laughs> this before, but um, they can split one of these. So I grabbed two. I feel like they're going to like it and they weren't that expensive. I think they were $1.29 or a dollar. So it's actually a pretty good price. And then went ahead and got the macaroni and cheese. I got two of them. They were 99 cents each. I thought that was a pretty decent price for mac and cheese. Uh, that's what I pay anyways when I buy mac and cheese that is not the Trader Joe's brand. So I thought the price was good. Everyone suggested I try the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Everyone. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this. I'm mostly excited to try it on my avocado toast and eggs. Um, it was, I think, $2. Okay, guys. So I got so excited when I saw this. It sounded so good. It still sounds so good. The only thing is it only brings, oh, it brings eight. I don't know why I thought it brought four bars, but this thing was like 250 or something. It looks really, really good. And they also had the mango and cream one, but I got the raspberry and vanilla cream bars. So I'm excited to try this out. And then I got the kids this organic applesauce. This only brings four, but I only grabbed one because I wanted to try it out, see if they like it. They're very picky with their applesauces. I only really like the GoGo -Go Squeeze brand. I've tried other brands before, but um, we'll just see if they like this one. This was not that expensive, but it was a little bit more for only having four pouches. So we'll see if they like it. They had a ton of different variety and different flavors, but um, the, my kids really, really like mango stuff. So I got the mango one. So I have heard that these taste really good. This is the mini beef tacos. And this will be really cool for like a Friday night or a Saturday movie night. Something I could just throw into the oven and have as a quick meal. So I grabbed it. And yeah, I'm excited to try that. I was really excited to see this. I love dumplings. And this is the steamed chicken soup dumpling. It brings six dumplings, so I'm excited to try this as well. I got the orange peach mango juice. It just sounded really, really good. So I went ahead and grabbed it. My husband loves orange juice, but I think he's gonna like this combo a lot more. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I think almost everyone told me I should get the orange chicken. And I hope I got the right one. Um, but I grabbed it and I'm really, really excited to try it. It looks really good, but almost everyone told me I had to try this. Then I got the chicken fried rice. It was also highly recommended that I get this. So I'm excited to try this. And these two things are two meals right here. So I'm really excited about that. I would say one, two, three. Those are three meals here that I have for the week when I'm like, on a time crunch and I am trying to get dinner ready last minute. These would be easy go-tos. Then I got the pork gyozas pot stickers. Uh, they're other, oh, they're dumplings. So I have two things of dumplings, but a lot of you guys recommended the pork ones. Um, the reason I got this one is because that's soup dumplings and I've never tried their soup dumplings before. I am excited to try these out and see what they taste like. Next, I just got a ton of miscellaneous bars and treats and things like that because what I really liked about Trader Joe's that I don't see in other supermarkets is that they have, they sell these individually and sometimes I wanna try certain things but I don't wanna buy the whole box. So they were pretty cheap. They were like a dollar, a dollar 25. And that way I can try things out before I have to buy the whole box because then, I don't know, it just it'll just go to waste. But um, I got these for me. These is the this is the Cliff Bar and Cool Mint Chocolate. I don't know. That sounded really good. Then I got the White Chocolate Macadamia Nut. And then I was really excited to see this Luna Bar and the Lemon Zest. That sounds really good. I love anything lemon flavor. So I grabbed this for myself. And then I wanted to try this Apple Apricot Dried Fruit Bar. 
uh, it sounded really good too. And I think this was like 69 cents or a dollar or something like that. Then I got these organic tiny gummies for the kids. I'm just going to put this in my bag as a treat for them. Um, especially now that I'm going to have three kids. I need something to bribe them. Something to, I don't know. But this was only a dollar. So I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I got this Z-Bar and the Ice Oatmeal Cookie for Ethan. We normally get the chocolate chip one, but I've been wanting to try the oatmeal one for him. But I didn't want to buy the whole box because I don't know if he'll like it or not. He has like a love-hate relationship with oatmeal. He can either love it or not like it. So I just grabbed one. If he likes it, then I'll just go pick up the box at Target or at Walmart. But we're going to try the oatmeal cookie one. And then I grabbed five of these, but two of them are already gone because my kids ate them. And these are just fruit wraps. And my kids really love these. These were only 49 cents each. And I got the apple blueberry, apple strawberry, and apple wildberry. And this is just gonna this is gonna be a nice treat for after dinner or whenever. I wish I would have grabbed more because I even tasted them and they taste really good. <laughs> and Emilia loved loved them. Ethan is a little picky about it. He only ate half of his, but Emilia ate a whole entire thing, so she really liked it. So everything here was $45, which I actually don't think is too bad, especially when I got two, maybe possibly three meals out of it. So I'm not disappointed. I'm excited to try new things that I won't find at normal supermarkets. I'm mainly excited about those bars right there. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys got some ideas if you're going to Trader Joe's for the first time. This is just my honest thoughts and opinions on it. I have never gone before until today. Honestly, really enjoyed my experience there. I liked it and I think I will go back again, especially if I end up liking a lot of the frozen stuff, I may go back for them. I won't permanently switch over to Trader Joe's. It just really wouldn't be realistic for our budget. We love Aldi, but I think we'll definitely go back and grab some things here and there from time to time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.